supplies you're going to need today. You're going to need some paints. You'll have one of these at each table. And there is blue, yellow, black, white, red, and green. You're going to need a few Q-tips to get started. I would recommend that you have one Q-tip for each color that you're using and reuse them as you're going through the project. You might want a paper towel or a paint edger to kind of help with your area so you have a place to put those Q-tips when you're not using them. Here's my shark one from the other day and I've already done three colors around my shark. I'm going to do a fourth one. I think I'm going to go back in and do white again so I can stick to some type of pattern. So I'm going to take my Q-tip and I'm going to gently put it back into the white here. So I don't want to get too much on it, but I just want to start off and see what happens here with my dots. If you want to kind of experiment off to the side or on that paint edger, you can to kind of see what type of dot it's making before you get into your work. So what's kind of nice is the Q-tips hold a lot of paint and you can usually go about five or six, sometimes more, uh, before you start running out of paint. You don't want to go too fast uh, because you want your dots to be nice and clean. And I'm trying not to hit the, the dot that was right in front of it with those red ones there. All right, so I'm going to put this off to the side, and I'll probably come back to it a little bit later. Let me show you some ideas from some other students uh, that were working out pretty well. Here's a Stingray one. Uh, they have a nice design and some really cool things going on here, and they have a really nice pattern uh, that they've started going around. Here's another one. They're doing a round, doing kind of an echo dotted line, but they're also doing some lines coming out, but then what they're gonna do is they're gonna come in inside of these and do some type of pattern filling it in. Here's a nice high quality one. Uh, they're working with their dots. Some of their dots though are turning into little circles, so you gotta be aware uh, that you your dots don't wanna look like circles, you want them to look like uh, a full uh, white dot or red dot or whatever color it may be. If you run out of space, then you just start over here. Here's what not to do. Okay. So you don't want to get into, so this artist was working on it and they went around their work and they went, got out to here and then they started to kind of lose their patience. Instead of continuing on with that pattern, they got into just doing some patterns are just doing some kind of a messy work on the outside, which can look good, but for this project is not what we want. We do not want that, okay? Another thing too, uh, when you put it on the drying rack, um, just be careful. Uh, when you put it on the drying rack, when you slide it in there, you don't want to slide and hit the paints and kind of mess them up, okay? This one is also looking pretty nice as well. All right, guys, good luck with your work today.